A human rights body has launched an anti-corruption advocacy guide towards the 2023 elections in Lagos State. The Human Rights Advancement, Development and Advocacy Center says it will continue engaging with politicians, political parties and electorate to ensure that anti-corruption is prioritized in the coming polls and beyond. Kemi Foladiemo has more. Hirida and its partners say that as politicians scheme for the forthcoming general election, using various tactics including material and financial inducements, voters must choose credibility and competence. To push for a robust anti-corruption agenda, they presented a publication in Lagos detailing the need for transparency of, and accountability uh, you know, in governance. According to them, the absence of these indices will only aid poverty, insecurity and secessionist agitations. We are not going to rest. We are not going to just allow you know, looting, stealing, diversion of public funds, misappropriation. We will not let it go this way, this time around, because we have noted that democracy has been totally misunderstood to be a platform for just capturing power for self-centered interests. This time around, we are out there to conscientize and mobilize Nigerians. And here in Lagos State, we also want to make sure that Lagosians never again allow anybody to come either at local, state level to come and just get into power without committing to accountability, transparency, and good governance. The guide covers areas including the political economy in Lagos and its new public complaints and anti-corruption commission laws, as well as national and international statutes. It also details its field findings on the five local governments with the highest voter participation in Lagos, while proffering further grounds for citizen action. We have studied the law and it has a lot of positives that we have seen. For example, the law broadened the definition of corruption beyond financial corruption. It used the term abuse of power. In fact, there is a clause in the law that also stipulates that even though you are not complicit in a corruption uh, activity, if you are a witness to a corruption and you didn't report it, you are liable to be punished. The activists also recommend a conducive platform for reporting corruption in Nigeria's commercial capital, which they say should also spread across the country. Kemi Foladiemo, TVC News, Lagos.